Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylitchamstudios.co.uk and in today's video we are going to look at a smart little trick that you can do um, for automating particular tracks. Let's say you've got a whole bunch of tracks that you want to um, you want all of them to move up and down in volume like maybe you want to swell a particular sound um, and you've got a, a bunch of sounds that are, are all kind of uh, grouped together or routed together into a bus you can automate that bus so you can automate his volume up and down so I'm going to show you uh, how to set that up in Studio One it's actually really simple uh, and it's brilliant uh, now I'm using Studio One 3.3.3 .3, which is the latest version as of uh, this date which is the 20th of February 2017 um, and in version 3.2, VCAs were added to Studio One, VCA faders. So this can be done with VCA faders, but the objective of this video is for those that are not yet using version 3.2 or above, this video is for you. Uh, so I, I realize that this isn't for everybody, but even then you might prefer buses over VCAs, which is my personal preference. I do not use VCAs uh, particularly. I have on a couple of mixes, but by and largely, no, nah, they're not really my kind of thing. I'm just not really that interested in them. I can see why they were a requested feature and why people wanted them. Um, and I know that they exist in some other DAWs, but uh, for me, I'm not that bothered. I can do it with a bus. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So before we do that, I'm going to play a little bit of this track so you've got some context. Uh, it's from my EP Belonging to Tomorrow, and the song is called Chanel. And I'm going to play uh, from a bit before the chorus, so about here. <laughs> Okay, so there, that gives you a little bit of context. So what I'm going to do is I have these three BV tracks here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bus just for those. Now, um, ordinarily, these should already be routed to a bus. Um, but I, I was testing um, what I was about to do before we started. So they've unrouted themselves. So let's put them back into the BV bus. There we go. Which is why they were a little bit louder than they should have been on that playback. But that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to route these to a new bus. And then I'm going to route that bus to my BV bus, which is over here, which is where all my processing is. So let's do that. So we select the first track, press shift click the last one and that highlights all three then we right click and we choose add bus for selected tracks and kaboom there it is and everyone every one of those tracks now says bus one and it's automatically routed to bv bus which is cool that's what i want so i am going to rename this i'm going to call this uh automation bus uh, and I'll give it a garish color as well to make sure that it stands out. That's yucky enough, I think. Uh, and it stands out from everything else, so I cannot possibly automate the wrong thing, which is not what we want to do. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click the fader cap like that. I'm going to come out of my mixer into my arrange of view, and I'm going to go up to this box here, and there is an A there is a hand and it says click and drag parameter the parameter I have selected is the volume for the automation bus and that's what we want to select and I'm going to park it underneath BV3 here so let's grab it drag it create volume that's where we want it and there do you see the track is or the automation lane is already created set up for volume and 
I uh, I'm going to just draw in actually right I could use my fader port for this but I'm going to draw in some basic automation so I'm going to zoom in a little bit uh, let's say um, maybe these ooze here let's have a listen to this bit let's say I wanted these ooze just a little bit louder than they are so let's click a point there and we'll click another point just after it there will do nicely and then I now have my little trim control and I can lift that up a little bit that's probably way too much let's say just 2 dB um, I'm going to enlarge this track to make it easier to see there we go now we can really clearly see that it's going to shoot up and shoot back down so let's play that with the new automation okay let's back it up a little bit before that so we get some context okay let's watch that uh on the mixer we'll watch the little fader dance at the moment it's at zero db which is way too loud but it makes the point and we'll watch it go up okay if i actually automated the wrong thing i might well have automated the wrong thing i have it doesn't matter um i was going to automate the ooze and i've actually automated the line hand in hand that doesn't matter the the uh the point remains that it's dead easy to automate something up and down uh, and if you have a fader port or a fader port eight you can uh, control that channel by selecting the fader port um, and linking the two together um, and then you can just use the fader and automate the fader up and down using your finger on your fader port and you can get like a nice smooth curve if that's what you want uh, in this case I just thought I would just draw in something simple just to show how easy it is so there you have it automating a bus that brings up all the volume or down whichever you want to do of all of your tracks that are routed to that bus so I hope you found this video helpful uh, if so please click the like button uh, the thumbs up that would be very helpful and if you are enjoying any of my videos it would really be a cool thing and a helpful thing if you could hit the subscribe button and that way if these videos are good for you then uh, you will get a notification automatically from YouTube which will let you know that a new video is coming out and you can go and watch it straight away so there you have it I hope this was helpful and I'll see you on the next video